How's it going Packers fans? Today I wanted to take a look at the center position for the Packers into the 2021 season. Going into this past year, we knew that Corey Lindsley was coming up into a contract year. We knew that we probably haven't seen the best of him at this point in his career, and he proved that to us going out and having an all-pro season, and it looks like the Packers will not be re-signing him uh, according to the reports. They haven't negotiated with him at all. So if that is the case, if Corey Lindsley is not a Packer in 2021, although the fat lady is not sitting yet, but in that scenario, I'm going to be looking at today the possible replacements for Corey Lindsley at the starting center position. I guess let's start off with the guys that are already on the team and not people that they might acquire through the draft or free agency. Uh, the big one right there on the team already is Elton Jenkins, who through his first two years has shown he can be an extremely versatile piece. He has played a snap at every single position along the offensive line, and there's virtually no drop-off even when he has to go to a spot like David Bakhtiari's or uh, Billy Turner or Corey Lindsley. So I, I think Elton is a very strong option there. My concern with that, though, is... Are you weakening the line by moving him along? Is he better fit simply at left guard? He did take most of his college snaps at the center position, but is he better fit? Do those two years benefit him so much where he is simply better at left guard? I think the Packers, the people inside are really the only people that can make the determination. And even if you're putting Elton at center for to start the year and you're developing a, a rookie to start there eventually, it's a really solid option. Um, left guard, you have plenty of depth, much more depth in the interior off, uh, of the offensive line. And in my opinion, center is much higher to play than guard, much harder to play than guard. Not that I have any experience as even a high school center or offensive lineman. Another option already on the team would be Lucas Patrick, who started all this year at right guard for the Packers and did an excellent job. An undrafted free agent coming in here in 2018, finally earning a starting role this season. And once again, he held up excellent, uh, except in that Panthers game. That is the sore thumb in his great season on the best offensive line in football. Uh, he is originally a center, so there you have that option where we're looking at maybe another J.C. Treader to Corey Lindsley transition, and uh, it's a really smooth one. And then once again, you have right guard and left guard who could be easily replaced by one of these two guys, uh, two out of three of the offensive linemen they drafted that play guard, uh, John Runyon and Simon Stepniak. Simon uh, was out all of yes last year. He was on the non-football injury list all of last year. Uh, and then you have John Runyon who started and played a few games in his rookie season. I loved how John Runyon held up. Um, he held up great against Minnesota when he had to go in, and I feel really confident starting him there in week one. We'll see if they re-sign Lane Taylor, uh, and then, you know, just how those moving pieces look. Either way, if we're moving over Elton Jenkins or Lucas Patrick, we're going to have to move someone over, someone across the line to supplement that. Now, the one rookie they drafted that does play center last year was Jake Hansen from Oregon, uh, helping protecting Justin Herbert there. Um, you know, it will be really interesting. I believe he ha missed some time, uh, missed some practice with an injury as well. So who knows where he's coming along in that process. But he was taken in that same run of three picks with John Runyon and Simon Sepiank. So if the backers think he's ready, why not throw him out there? However, I do think even though, even if they do want to eventually have him starting at center, they won't have him out there at the beginning of the year. I would say right now, the starting lineup looks something like uh, left tackle, which is really an unknown. Uh, but uh, let's assume David Bakhtiari is in for this scenario. David Bakhtiari is ready to go week one. Left guard, Elton Jenkins stays there. Center, Lucas Patrick moves over. Right guard, John Runyon starts. Or Lane Taylor, whoever they think is best. And then at right tackle, Billy Turner. So there's just a lot of unknowns along the offensive line at this point. Will David Bakhtiari be ready to go? Uh, you know, what are we looking at tackle? Who are we drafting? Uh, unfortunately for the Packers, or fortunately, uh, this draft is much more deeper at the offensive tackle position than it is in the interior offensive line position. So you have those three that you drafted um, last year for the interior, and then you can maybe benefit uh, surplus and supplement after the release of Rick Wagner. So you have more depth along that right tackle, and hopefully uh, we know who our starters are, and hopefully David Bakhtiari has a quicker recovery than expected. And uh, then 
will uh, make those decisions, or we won't, but uh, Brian Gutekind's Matt LeFleur and company will make those decisions. I'm sure there will be somewhat of a competition between Jake Hansen, uh, maybe some rookies they bring in, and then, you know, if they just want to decide where Lucas Patrick and Elton Jenkins play their best football. But that's all I got for you today. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the Underage Packers YouTube channel, and as always, Go Pack Go!